seven and seven starts right. This week was supposed to look like this. Instead, this week looks like this. So as a result, this week is going to largely look like this. There she goes. I've already contributed my ass to your play. <laughs> it's like that. Kill it. <laughs> oh, Billy. And you're standing in electric car. Passion rises high. What is it? Inside out. Vile weed! And three on four two. My wife's grandfather died pretty much unexpectedly, um, and this is actually the same weekend, the fifth anniversary of my mother-in-law's passing. Um, it's been a tough week. That, coupled with the fact that it's been raining for two weeks solid, you'll forgive my lack of motivation for going out and taping anything. It was West Abu this week. It's all been rained out. Color runs not going to happen until spring. Uh, so, flashbacks it is. No one would blame you. The button's right there. YouTube, you know, home button. I think it's right over there. No one would blame you. For the past 10 to 15 years, my wife and I have had a lot of family, loved ones, friends pass away. And uh, I'm finding myself ever increasingly not able to tolerate funerals uh, uh, more and more. Not that anybody's able to tolerate funerals, but The, the mere fact that you're in a room with a dead body that you, you, you know, sewn shut, filled with formaldehyde, covered in makeup, and then of course inevitably there's always that one person at the funeral that says, he looks so good, he just looks so peaceful. No, he doesn't, he, he doesn't. The thing that I'm finding myself able to tolerate less and less is the the very relaxed attitude in the viewing room that people have gotten. And, and I guess maybe I'm noticing it more or, or it's happening more here in the South where, I mean, people all but set their drink on top of the body and tell off-color jokes and, and try desperately to act like there's not a dead person two feet away from them. Have some respect. Shut up when you're in the room with a dead body. Have some reverence. You know, just sit there in silence or whisper. Take the jokes outside. It's really gotten to be a pain and, and I hate going to funerals. And, and this is directed at no one person from the past or no one that I'm actually going to end up encountering in the future. It's everybody. It's gotten to be more and more. Somebody inevitably brings a toddler to a funeral. Why? I got news for you kids. You hit 30, faces you grew up, you're all too familiar with, they just start fading away. It gets no better when you turn 40. 
they just get closer to you instead of being your, your great aunt or or you know a third uncle you hardly knew it's your grandfather it's your parents it's you know you're never ready for it Roger and Bob rode out that day Till that log jam got in their way They got lucky on the street that day Oh, they got lucky when she walked away Roger and Bob rode out that day Roger and Bob were gone away. So I'm in Greenwood, South Carolina. Where the hell is Greenwood, South Carolina? Evidently out here, the deer just run around and sniff people like dogs. I came out here to watch my nephew play ball and uh, the scariest thing out here are uh, the coaches. I'm not making this up. There's like a six-year-old girl down there that has a tramp stamp. Greenwood! It's not going to make you throw up, is it, Dave? I got so seasick that one time. I went down to the toilet, and it was just raging full, man. It was just all the way up to the brim full, and I was already seasick. I could feel like shrimp, salad, and beef tips. I mean, literally, it was just like burping up.